but we were in the bay. We were on. <laughs> Hey YouTube, your girl is back today with another video. I know I be going and stuff, but I gotta focus on the camera. I know I be going, but you know, life is crazy. I don't be having time, but I will fix that soon. Since the last time I've been on here, y'all see me? Yeah. So I was trapped, you guys. You know, I was out here living my best life over the summer and somebody trapped me. You know, they didn't want your girl to be you know, I don't want your girl to be out here and I'm like, you know. But, okay, so today I'm doing a story time on how I found out I was pregnant, okay. So, you know, I'm messing with someone, blah, blah. He's my boyfriend, I don't try to think like I was just messing with somebody random, like, okay. So, it's like July 5th, okay. You know, the 4th of July, I was lit. I woke up that morning, my period was on. I also woke up and I had, like, my tonsils were swollen too, but that's a whole nother thing. But, yeah. So, yeah, so July went by fine, you know. I'm out here living. You Like I said, it was the summer, you know. It was a hot girl summer. I'm just kidding. It wasn't that hot, but it was, like, it was mild. So, I'm out here, you know, living or whatever. So... I don't know the the like ending of July. I was feeling like paranoid because my boyfriend had told me that he like well I, obviously I was aware that he did it too that he didn't like he didn't get up out he you know he shot the club up or whatever boy if you don't get so. You know, I was already, like, panicking, but, you know what, like, deep down, you think, like, you know, it's not gonna happen to me, like, I don't know, I'm just out here living, and that's not gonna happen to me, so that's how I was thinking, or whatever. The people who know me know that I'm, like, a hypochondriac, so, like, I really overthink a lot, so I'm sitting here, especially when it's, like, health problems or whatever, or, like, not problems, just health in general, so, I'm sitting here telling my sister, like, girl, like, you know, I might be, what if I'm pregnant, what if I, you know, she's trying to calm me down. She's like, no, you're not, um, you're not, like, you know, you never know, just relax. So, you know, I'm just chilling or whatever. So, it's like, I was supposed to get my period that first week in August. So, I was spotting for, like, that whole week, and I never do that. Like, my periods are always, um, they're always, like, regular. They're not never irregular or anything. They're always normal and they always come when they're supposed to. So that whole week, I'm spotting, like, I'm wiping myself. It's like pink. Um, it's pink in the tissue or whatever, and I never have that. So I'm like, oh, shit. I'm telling my sister. She's just like, she don't know. Like, maybe it could be my period, but maybe I could be pregnant and stuff. So I'm sitting there like, oh, shit. Oh, he oh, needs oh, some shit. milk. And at the time, I was working at DSW. So, like, my managers, they had two, they have children or whatever. And one of my managers, she has a two-year-old. So, you know, she was fairly new in that. So, I'm asking them. They're like, you know, um, it could be a sign of your period. You know, like, basically calming me down. Like, don't think of it too much, you know. You, that doesn't necessarily mean you're pregnant, you know. Just wait and see if you miss your period, blah, blah, blah. So, my period was supposed to come on the, like, a Friday, I believe. So I was waiting that whole, cause that whole week, mind you, I told you I was spotting that whole week. So then Friday had came, it never came, my period never came or whatever. So I've talked to my managers again and they was just like, you know, um, maybe your period could be irregular this time, you know, wait a couple more days just to see if it comes on or whatever. So I think it was Saturday and I'm just annoying my sister so much. Like she's like, you know what? We're gonna go take the test. We about to go we about to go get one. We're going to 7 Eleven to get one. So I'm just like, okay. You know, I'm nervous. I'm like, okay, we about to go get this. So I'm always in my boyfriend's house. So I came. We was living. Yeah, we were living in a household that we no longer live in. And it was my aunt's house basically. So I went there and I'm like, me and Shari about to go to the store you know because i don't want to like this is how i was knowing in like the ending of july like my boobs would hurt and i'm telling like my boyfriend I'm, like my boobs hurt he's like why your boobs hurt it's like 
bitch, do I know why they hurt? No! No! I don't know why they hurt, they hurt. So, like, stuff like that was happening. Stuff like that was happening or whatever. We was, um, basically, like, yeah, that was some, like, that was, like, a sign or symptom, I guess, right there. Like, I was just, like, why are my boobs hurting? Like, why are they hurting? And they was growing. Because I didn't have, that was never flat chested, but I had, like, little boobs. And they were growing, like, right now, they're big. So, um, basically... So I went there and met up with Shy, and we was about to go to the store, you know, because I didn't want nobody in my business. I only wanted Shy to know, and I was gonna tell my big sister Brianna, and that was period. But my aunt came upstairs or whatever, and I'm telling Shy like, oh, I really, I was fiending for a pickle and hot chips. Like I was really, literally fiending. I need it for a pickle and hot chips, mind you. Like weeks before that, my aunt just said, Oh, one of y'all is pregnant. One of y'all pregnant. I've been having them fish dreams. Um, what else? Like, oh, yeah, we gonna find out soon. Blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm just like, hey, Not me, you know, because Shia's out there. Shia's out there doing what she do too. So, <laughs> so, you know, I'm just like, Shit, this is like a roll of the dice. <laughs> Who could it be? But, um, so she came upstairs and I'm telling Shy, Shy, I'm like, we're gonna go to 7 Eleven and get um hot chips and a pickle too. I was I'm cause I was really feeling I'm like, I hope they have a pickle. So she's just like, Oh, the smart girls only eat pickles when they pregnant. Um, Baba, you pregnant. I'm just like, no, mm-mm. They're not I'm like, she's like, it's okay, we're gonna take a test or whatever. I'm just like, cause I um, I told you I didn't want nobody in my business, but at the time she was working, I like she had a patient in um, Long Beach. So she wanted me and Shaw to ride with her there. So we rode with her there. Then like on the way there, she was telling me, she was like, oh, let me see your, um, your flow app. That's the app to track your period. And mind you, my flow app has said my period was late two days or whatever. I'm just like, no. God, please, no, no. Uh, you don't need to see it. Like, I'm not, and she was like, oh, like she stopped at the, the, in the middle of the street. She was like, get out of my car. Then. You're gonna have to walk from Long Beach all the way to end what? But I'm not about to walk that, like. So, I'm just like, chill, okay, okay. It says I'm late two days. I'm like, but it could come. And she's like, you ain't never late. You, um, Shy's come first, then mine, then hers. And she was like, she got hers already. I was just like, well, mine is irregular to this time. Like, I don't know what to say. She was like, it's okay, we're just gonna take that test. So I'm sitting there like nervous as fuck. I'm sitting here like, yo, what I'm gonna do? Like, whew, I was nervous. So, mind you, she's seen her patient, blah, 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 all that. I stopped at 7 Eleven. I got my pickles and hot chips. It was good as fuck, but it made my stomach hurting. We were on the way back um, home, and she was like, oh yeah, don't think I forgot. So she stopped and she got a pregnancy test. So I'm just sitting here like nervous. I'm like, I don't even think I gotta pee. Like, you know, I'm just trying to like, I'm just trying to not want to take that test. Like, I wanted to take the test, but I didn't want her to see the results or nothing. But as soon as we got in the house, she was like, okay, go to the bathroom. And she was like, um, like I had to leave the door open and shit and had to pee in a cup. And she was like, yeah, she didn't let Shy go in the bathroom. And she's like, we not about to switch pee or whatever. Yada, yada, yada. So I went into the kitchen and she had the, the stick and she put it in the pee. And she was like, boom, immediately, two lines. Yup, you pregnant. So I'm like, I'm like, let me, let me, let me look at that. Like, I'm like, no, no, no. Wow. Mm -hmm. I was like really shocked and shy. Like it was just so much going on. Shy's over there in the corner. Like you have to tell him. Tell him what is he gonna do? Tell him like I'm just sitting here. She's like, call him now and tell. Him. I'm just sitting here like panic. I'm like, can y'all just like in my head? I'm just like, shut the fuck up. So I had told my um sister Brianna. I went outside after and I called her because you know I've been telling her what I was telling Shy. Like I was thinking like, and she was just like, mind you, because she was pregnant at the time too. And yeah, she was like, she was telling me. She was just like, like wow, like you know, like so yeah so i told her then i'm just like wow like yo, i really gotta tell him like 
<laughs> like it was just like it's not that I was like nervous to tell well, I was nervous to tell him. Not because of anything like that I would think how he would react. It's just like, you know, it's just like you gotta like accept the fact yourself. So I'm just like, um I had to talk to you later. I text him and he was just like, okay, is it good or bad? I was like, I don't even know. Like it was just like I was so confused at the time. And he was just like, Okay, um and I'm just like, Yeah, I'm gonna tell you when I get there later. So I get there or whatever and like I didn't tell him right away because he was with his friends or whatever. So and it was like it was just like he was listening to music, all that. So basically his friends had left and you know we were talking and well, basically he was, he was having like a little heart to heart and that was made me tell him i was like okay well you know i'm pregnant he was just like really like i'm just like yeah and he's like oh like okay um do you have the test so i got it on my bag it was it was in a in a baggie in my bag not just in my bag and then um i showed him he was just like wow and he said some cringy shit he was like can you keep it like I'm gonna get it back later for my scrapbook though. But I was just like, okay, yeah, you can keep it, sure. And he's just like, hi. Okay. Wow, like he was really happy because you mind you, he's older than me. And, um, you know, his sister already has a baby. Both of his sisters already have a baby. So, you know, he was feeling like, you know, it's the time in his life to have a kid. Mind you, I told you in the beginning, I was trapped. He knew what he was doing. He seen the kid, you know, he seen me. Like he was feeling like, he's like, <laughs> That happened and then you know as time progressed I started telling more people only certain people knew at a certain period of time and I, it wasn't like I just didn't feel like I had to make an announcement I really made the announcement when I had my gender reveal because it's just like yeah I'm having a sign it's a oh. <laughs> I'm not gonna let y'all know the name because shy said no. I was gonna let you know maybe surprise y'all put the name because i always say like my son or he i know a lot of pregnant people who are who like you know they they say their child's name i mean i say i say my child's name but i say it to the people who know or the people who know say my child's name and everything but i don't feel like i have to like you know put it on social media yet or anything because i don't it's not nobody's business you know when he's here y'all hear his name so yeah um I will give you guys a hint though, cause Shai said I should do that. His name starts with a O, so yeah, his baby O. And you guys will find out more once he's here. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe, give this video a big thumbs up because I'm letting y'all nosy people know a little bit about what happened to me. So you know, don't just view this video. Don't just be a weirdo. Don't view the video and not. You feel me? And not support, like, because I know that's what y'all be doing. And I know it's some of y'all who still gonna be doing it, even though I'm telling you not to, which is whatever, you know, that's the, that's the life that I don't want. <laughs> but yeah, like, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, share it if you want to. Um, and yeah, oh, just a, uh, like a couple quick facts about me. I am 19, I found out when I was 19, and I'm be having my baby when I'm 20, cause he's due April. You know he's a he's an April baby like his mother, <laughs> and he's an Aries like his dad. But we're not gonna talk about you know the zodiac signs. We we just not okay. But yes, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video and.